sports. It's in the game. Sports, it's in the game. Welcome along to an evening that was made for football. The pitch is in great order too. I'm Guy Mowbray to bring you commentary along with England legend Sue Smith. And everything is set up nicely to give us a really good match. It's into Miami and they take on Al Nasser. Cheers, Guy. Well, it's a pleasure to be here and I'm anticipating a good game today. The coaching staff have done all they can. Now it's about taking it onto the pitch. Here's how the home side lines up. Yeah, it looks like a 4-3-3, and they are really good out wide. The relationships with both wingers and fullbacks are great, and the latter constantly providing overlaps to create 2v1 situations. 
both have got good delivery, so it's just about getting on the end of things. This is how Al Nasser line up. Yeah, it looks like a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. This can be quite an attacking lineup with the three progressive players behind the lone striker. But you've still got that defensive protection with the two midfielders holding. Thank you for attending. Have a great time at today's match. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's into Miami, and they face Al Nasser. Well, a quick start to the game is all important here today, and I'm sure both managers will have drilled that into the players. But they also have to play with composure and a tactical understanding. It should be a good game. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Thank you for attending. Have a great time at today's match. Here it comes. It's away, but it's not finished yet. That set up the chance. Busquets. Decent chance, this. Oh, that's not properly away. And the move has come to an end. Otavio. Mane. This could be threatening. A really good interception to take the ball. Jordi Alba. Breaking at pace, this could be dangerous. Messi in behind can he finish and another goal it seemed all over before but there's another to really seal it here's the replay and it's a nice bit of skill to beat his man that he keeps his composure to finish it off well it's a quality goal lap So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Number 10, Lionel Messi. 
Otavio. Clean challenge. That's a good pass. Can he do it? They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Abdullah Al Khaybari. Might be a chance here. And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance! Well, let's take another look, and you have to say the defending is so poor, that's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. You've got to say, an incredible first half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. And Messi with teammates to play it to. And that whistle brings the first half to a close. As far as the home fans are concerned, Sue, what did you make of their performance? Well, that was really comfortable, wasn't it? The play going forward was so clinical took them apart at times and produced some top quality finishes too it's a great result just not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned well, oh dear Derek that was a worrying display they were completely outplayed in almost every department the coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game He's really quiet. He usually bosses around everywhere, Lionel Messi. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, he was on fire today, not just with his finishing, but also his general play. That was a top-class hat-trick. Found nicely and in. Promising looking ball. What can they do from here? This high-level goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. That's goalkeeping of the highest quality. Either. Takes the shot. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Opportunity still there. Look at that, they've taken the lead. Well, they haven't been the dominant team so far, but they're certainly not. That's a good pass. Can he do it? 
They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder this... Might be a chance here. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. And this is Brozovic, Ronaldo, and the keeper flings himself at the ball. Real chance. Four marks for trying it.